The NFC North is on the line as the Vikings travel to Detroit for a Thanksgiving showdown. Let's talk about it. Go Vikings, let's win this game. Go Vikings, honor your name. So, so, to recap the previous game, the Vikings beat the Cardinals to stay alive in this playoff hunt in a nice way, scoring in all phases of defense. Of course, Xavier Rhodes was phenomenal. Two interceptions, one 100-yard interception return for a touchdown. Uh, we were all over the ball in defense, but their defense finally looked as good as it was in our winning streak, especially in the second half. They were really getting at it, getting at the quarterback, getting at Carson Palmer. And now, uh, you can't look at it and think the... Vikings defense was playing so bad as Carson Palmer and the Cardinals do a lot more deep drops. So when teams let us uh, run get at the quarterback, <coughs> when we get to the quarterback, we will get sacks. So uh, just because we're getting them after a few games doesn't mean that's still definitely not possible uh, for us to get them. Uh, if the team gets this chance, especially when we, once we have the lead, it'll make up for it a lot. Uh, so. Uh, offensively in that game, our running game finally looked good. Uh, not phenomenal, but we'll definitely take it because we we got it done. Um, a nice McKinnon ran the ball fairly well. If we get over four yards of carry, that's double our average. So that's definitely steps in the right direction. Sam Bradford again had a very good game. Being efficient, throwing to Thielen for that first touchdown. Very good accuracy. Thielen still making plays when his number is called. Uh, usually the guy's digs, but digs were covered by Patrick Peterson all day, so it was kind of a rough day for him. But the likes of Thielen and um, Patterson still kept us in the game on the offensively, uh, receiving the football. And defensively, uh, Chad Greenway was all over the field. Uh, uh, Linval Joseph was being a wrecking uh, their world in the middle of their D-line. Uh, so Linval Joseph, dominant. Once again, David Rhodes, um, of course, uh, Cordell Patterson got into the uh, return game with a punt return or a kick return for a touchdown. Uh, so we all came together and got a short win against the Cardinals. And we'll have to do that once again to get a win uh, Thanksgiving Day against thanks uh, against the Lions. And like I said in the intro, this is for the division, folks. I don't see I see the team winning this game, winning the division. Um, I think it's gonna be close. Of course, if there's a losing streak, any team can still be alive. But both these teams are solid, even though they both had their losing streaks, they both had their winning streaks, so I guess you could say they're both streaky. Uh, but at this point, I think we know the team's identities at this point of the season. Uh, so, when the teams can counter counter it and do what they can to beat them, they have their how to beat them on tape, they have their strengths on tape. Uh, so, it's all about that. So, the, and just like last time we played, Detroit, they were a very, very balanced or uh, throwing team uh, with the dangerous enough uh, passing, uh, th running game to really have to respect it. Uh, they have a solid running back that making some good moves against the Vikings last week, and I think the Vikings just off their confidence up this Cardinals game, which is gonna be what could be the big turnaround game for this Vikings team. Uh, will make their run defense think they can do a lot better than they did. Uh, they endured their losing streak. So since I think we'll stop them run a lot better, they have three solid receivers instead of one Calvin Johnson the previous years with the Lions. So it's still a really solid passing game. Uh, I see Xavier Rhodes starting out one of their guys. We have Newman to take out of another one. And then Golden Tate will be in the slot. And that will be all Captain Marlin. And, and hopefully not too much safety because that's when they can take advantage of one-on-one -on -one safety matchups on Harrison Smith or Sandejo, which they exploited to win the game last time we met them. Uh, so just like every Detroit Lions game, I see this one going to the wire. Uh, this team, they, they showed it last time. This is a very, very close matchup. We are at home coming off the win. The Lions are red hot. This could really go either way. This is at Detroit. Uh, I mean, this, yeah, this is at Detroit. I'm not sure what I'm talking about. Uh, should be a very good, close game. They won at home earlier in the year. It's really hard to give this one to the Vikings, but they are coming off a win, like I said. Should be really close. Should be in the 20s. I'll give it, it's really really hard to say the Vikings here. Very hard to say. I want you guys to tell us what you guys think, who you guys think is gonna win down below. Final score predictions for me. I think, just be, let's be optimistic here, Vikings. 28, uh, Detroit 24.
That should not be a good final score here, but have a happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there, and we'll see you guys in the next one.